under here, uh, I've got some, some ping pong balls. And they're all numbered. They're all numbered. This one right under each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one under in each fact, one. In fact, each cup has a ping pong ball under it. Okay. With a number. Okay, so I would like uh, a volunteer police who thinks they're good at finding stuff. Yep. Okay, come on. What's your name, dude? Niraj. Okay, Niraj. Uh, I'm going to give you this cup full of jelly beans, all right? And your job with this cup full of four jelly beans. How many? There were a lot more than four jelly beans before. Okay, for each cup you look under, you've got to give me a jelly bean, right? Okay. And the fewer cups you look under, the more jelly beans you get to keep and eat. Okay. So you know these are in sorted order. You're going to look for the number 85. Okay. So you'll start from the middle one. Good choice. Go, give me a jelly bean. And that's the number 57. 57. Okay. So, what does that tell you about all these cups? Yeah, 85. Couldn't be on there. Oh! Do you know how long I spent doing that? <laughs> okay. What's the next one you're going to look under? The middle one. Jelly bean first. Jelly bean first. Red one, please. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, good. Okay. This one is 78. Okay? <laughs> Cups and balls today were massacred mercilessly. <laughs> okay, what's the next one you're going to look at? Wait, 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 are you sure you're going to look at that one? The audience is saying look at the middle one. You don't want to listen to them? Okay, okay, that one? 85. How many jelly beans have you got left? Nice work. Okay, thanks. Put your hand for Nero. This binary search activity is the second time they've encountered using divide and conquer to solve a problem. The first time being when they kept on cutting a cake in half and they discovered how quickly it gets very small. In fact, you can usually ask the audience how long it would take to search a million cups with ping pong balls underneath them. They'll soon work out if you keep on dividing that problem in half, you would only need 20 jelly beans to be able to find one ping pong ball out of a million.